What's happening everyone? My name is Phil and in this video we are making a LED sound activated totem that I'm going to be taking with me to EDC uh, and potentially Burning Man this year. Now I figured if I'm going to make this thing uh, I might as well show people how I did it, kind of give you guys the instructions and see how easy it is to be done. Uh, which is why I'm holding this 8 foot birch rod I got at Home Depot. Uh, it's going to serve as the base of the totem. And as you can see, I've got a mock-up here of the LEDs I'm going to be using uh, to make this sound activated kind of equalizer uh, display. Now, this is a WS2812 programmable LED strip. We're using an Arduino Nano, a sound module, uh, a lot of soldering, and hopefully a little bit of creative ingenuity to make the end of this pole look really cool with these LEDs attached to it, kind of like in an orb that I'm thinking about using. I've got some aluminum rods or strips here, and I'm going to bend these into kind of a circular shape, mount them to this, and just see what happens. So let's get to work. The first thing we're doing here is cutting our LED strips down to size to match the aluminum rod that we purchased. The strips are going to go and attach to the aluminum rod, so we want them to be roughly the same size. I did a little bit of overlap so they can come down onto the rod. Uh, you'll see that a little bit later. Now, we have to pre-tin all the wires and then attach them to the strip on the LED. And actually, you have to be careful which direction you are uh, soldering because these LEDs are directional and only go in one, one way. So actually, what I found after having soldered everything together was that I had done two of them incorrectly. And you'll see that a little bit later. We are using three wires. One is power, ground, and then you have a signal wire. I believe the red is power, white is ground, and green is your signal. I did this to all four strips, and then I combined the wiring of each together so that all three or all four LED strips would act the same together in unison. That means that as they go up the rod, they all go together. I'm just tinning these strips together to make sure that they don't move, and then we'll do an initial power test uh, against the the board itself. Now I'm just pushing them into the pins, it's not really the most secure method to do it. I'm also installing the sound or the microphone module that should return a value back to the board uh, to give us that power display. Uh, all it takes is a micro USB to power the board as well as the light strips so we'll see what happens. Now as you can see only two of the boards seem to be working, that's because the two non-working ones I had soldered backwards and so those have to come off, flipped around and then re-soldered. Yay! Okay. So now what we need to do is reprogram this board so it's no longer 150 LEDs, but uh, the length of this, which is a different amount. Awesome. What you see here now is me having reprogrammed down to, to about 60 LEDs, and you can see the sound level is working correctly with the microphone, which is awesome. Now to make straight bends with these aluminum rods, I'm putting them into a vice grip and then using a hammer at the very end to bend them over. This is probably the best way to do it with the tools I had. I'm pretty sure there are better ways to do it. We're going to make all of them the same uh, and then start attaching them to our, our birch rod. Each one's going to go kind of north, south, or you know, top and bottom, left and right. And to get them just set up to see what they look like, I'm using some tape just to hold them in place. Um, and then I'm going to put the LEDs on just to see what it looks like and validate the initial concept of the idea. Now that I have all my aluminum on, I'm going to bend them into kind of an arrow point um, or I guess a, um, a spearhead point shape. And that'll make this design look a little bit cooler uh, and bring the LEDs back together at the top.
All right, look at that. So the initial idea works. Um, does it look amazing? Not exactly, but it seems to be doing its job. Um, the light doesn't exactly flow out or, or output the way I kind of wanted it. So in the next episode, we're going to see how we might change the design to make this a little bit more striking. So stay tuned, like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing, and turn those notifications on, please, to help support the channel. We'll see you in part two.